What's going on, YouTube? We got five guys right now. I'm here with my brother, man, my boy, Devil. Shalom. Shalom, man. <coughs> yes, sir. We finna be, we got five guys, bro. This, this shit is amazing, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You got hella fries, man. You got some burger. You know what I mean? Man, look out for that video, bro, from the post, man. It'll be coming up in 24 hours, shit. I'm bro. working on this shit right now. We just took us a little lunch break. Shit gonna be posted, man, in a couple days, bro. I just gotta edit it and shit. Uh, we still, like you said, we still working on the video, bro. But um, majority with this video, with this little mukbang, bro, just gonna be talking about real life shit, man. You feel me? Like, especially like money, man. Bro. Like, I was telling him the other day. The reason why a lot of people can't save money, folks, because it's, it's a lot of this shit is an illusion. You feel me? Like, we'll be at work or something. We'll have like three hundred dollars in our account. It'll be like, oh, I can buy this. It's only this much. It's not gonna do shit to my account. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it to you, for you feel me? Or it will be like, oh, I get paid next week. I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna be good. But whole time, so okay, yeah, you gonna have the money to buy that thing, and you feel like, oh, because you get paid next week, you gonna be okay. But you gotta realize, but your your bank account not growing. It's repeating the same cycle. Like right? the, the the thing is about money, bro. You're supposed to be able to make it, save it. Spend it and be comfortable for you, feel me? But you can't be able to be comfortable while you spend the money if every time you get a little bit of money, you want to fuck it off or some shit, you feel me? Like, and invest it too. Right, bro, invest the shit. Like, you gotta, bro, a lot of people, bro, our accounts just keep repeating for you, feel me? be like, <laughs> so I got a paycheck like $500 or $1,000, but you feel me? Every two weeks type shit. That go with bills, that's with bills. It was gonna be less than that because we gotta pay bills and shit like that for you feel me then also so we gotta like get shit to eat sometimes but you feel me but like we also spend money on things that we don't need you feel me so it's like every time we get some money bro you feel me and then we buy some shit next time we get paid bro our shit the, our bank account look the same bro you feel me it's like damn bro my shit not growing it's like i'm just like every check that i get i'm basically spending all my shit at once you feel me and i wait till my next check and i do the same thing same thing same thing but you feel me and then when it comes to a time and point when you really need the money you're not gonna be able to you know use it how you're not gonna be able to spend it how you want to but you feel me because you gotta worry about oh damn i got i got this bill to pay next week or the next one i gotta i gotta say this for that i gotta say this for that but you feel me? the whole time if you would have just saved your money and not bought that shit that you didn't need at the time but you feel me you wouldn't be in this predicament you feel me so it's like you just gotta do better as a, as a, as a community bro for real on bro and then <coughs> that ties into like just being responsible bro you feel me like just being responsible with your bread and just knowing that like because it gets to, it, it, it'll get to a certain point bro where you're working for free like you're working just to pass up time at this point and like right now that's what i'm trying to like really work on right now bro you feel me like y'all already know how i am bro i'm pretty transparent with y'all i really don't give a fuck but like right now I'm still trying to like like work on okay I'm going to work but why though you feel me like not just to have money in my pocket so just like so like fuck it off you feel me like like actually have money in my pocket to like build something you know because make sure you need money to make money and it's no I was just telling him the other day uh, the last time we talked about money bro like uh, like right now I'm trying to find a full-time job right now you feel me and yeah, I have more money, but it's not gonna make no use if I don't know how to manage it, bro. If I don't know how to manage the, the little like, like four or 500 checks I get every two weeks, then how am I gonna manage, you feel me? Getting a thousand to 1200 to four to $1,400 every two weeks, you feel me? Like, <coughs> it's just gonna all go down the drain, literally. Well, that's all fact, bro. For real. <clears throat> I know it get hard though, bro, like trust me. I'm a victim of that shit myself, but this shit definitely get hard, bro, to like save money. But, like, damn, bro, I really want this, bro. Feel me? So then you'll like take that risk, but you'll sacrifice. you like, it's cool. I'll just miss out on this bill for a little bit, be a couple of days late on this bill so I can get this, you feel me? The whole time, bro, you don't need it at that moment, bro. You, you just you just want it and you see that you have the money for it, so that's why you get it. The whole time, bro. And a lot of things that we buy, but we don't we don't put used to. Like, bro. I remember I bought two pairs of shoes from Goat, bro. If, for, for those that for those that like shoes, bro, y'all know how Goat get, bro. Y'all know Goat is expensive with the shoes, bro. You feel me, no? So I bought two pairs of shoes from Goat, bro. Mind you, bro, I didn't even really need the shoes, bro. Cause, bro, I don't I don't go nowhere as it is, bro. You feel me? I don't go outside for real, bro. You feel me? I be in the crib, bro. The only time I really pop out and do things, I'm with him, bro. You feel me? That's really the only time I do things. And that's every so often. You feel me? I don't go to parties and nothing like that, bro. You feel me? So I don't I don't need those shoes. 
And when I bought those shoes, they was, they was literally in my closet collecting dust, bro, you feel me? So basically, I wasted like $500 or $600 on two pair of shoes that I didn't even wear, you feel me? But I wanted them and I liked them, that's why I bought it. But I didn't need it, you feel me? So like, that was my fault. I needed, I need that financial discipline, bro, you feel me? Just like y'all, y'all need that financial discipline too. We all do, bro, you feel me? And you're not gonna get there unless you acknowledge and understand that you have a problem, bro, you feel me? Because a lot of this shit is an, is an addiction, bro, you feel me? It's an addiction, bro, you know? And speaking of parties, because you mentioned parties, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie, people around around our age, bro, like 18 to like, to like 24, maybe even 25, bro, like, <coughs> or whatever age, bro, you should, <coughs> you should not be having, I mean, it's okay to like treat yourself once a day and like every now and then for the family, like, or like, we'll have a little bit of fun, but bro. Nigga, if you party on who the fuck parties on a Tuesday, bro? <laughs> like, if you party on a Tuesday, bro, don't you gotta go to work in the morning? Like, ideally, you feel me, bro? Like, like what are you celebrating? Like, <clears throat> I was just talking to him about that too. Like, like people be drinking and smoking and like, like as a as a fun to like celebrate. Like, what are you celebrating? You still live with your mom? You still asking her for 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 gas station money to go get a honey bun? <laughs> like. <laughs> Like you're still doing these things that like a 14 or 14, a 13 year old would do. So like, what do you? And you're not where you want to be at in life. So like, what do you? What, like, what do you celebrate? Bro. Like, a lot of people ask me like, what am I doing for my 21st birthday? I ain't a lot, bro. Unless I'm where I want to be at in life, there's nothing to really celebrate other than me be, God giving me another chance to be on this earth. <coughs> That's the only thing I'm really celebrating. But like. Unless I'm more, like, or unless I'm in a better position in my life, bro, then uh, I mean, there's nothing to really celebrate, bro. The most I might do is probably go to the store and get like a soup, like go to the, the liquor store and get a souvenir, like, like have a like I have a bottle of liquor that I never opened. Now I can look back when I'm like 40 or something like that and be like, oh yeah, I remember when I bought this bottle when I first turned 21, never opened it, type shit. But other than that, bro, yeah, bro, well, there's nothing to be celebrating. Real, bro. You gotta get to a point where you're like, in your head, you're like, it ain't shit funny, bro. I'm broke as hell. I don't know who I truly am. You feel me? I ain't got no job. Or like, if you do got a job, you feel me? Like, <clears throat> I mean, there's no, there's, there's really no bad job, but if you're literally at a place that you don't like, bro, you feel me? And like, you feel like you're gonna be stuck there for the rest of your life, then you need to change something, bro. Like, oh, fuck. ASAP. Real. This feel good as hell. Yeah, bro, <laughs> you still got hella fries, bro. Hella fries, bro. Like man, this shit crazy. Y'all know how I be. If I eat five guys, y'all know how five guys give the fries, bro. They get they'll put in like a cup, but then they'll throw hella shit in the bag after that. You feel me? Y'all know how fried guys give. So you know we got hella fries right here, shit. But um, yeah, like bro was saying, but that's true. But like with me, bro, I just turned twenty yesterday. I ain't really do shit, bro. You feel me? I don't. I'm not really like a go out type of person. You feel me? I just enjoyed my day, bro. That was it. <coughs> you know, head cutting shit. But yeah, for my 21st birthday, bro, I'm gonna make sure I am gonna be like, I know for me personally, with my journey, me knowing my journey specifically, it's gonna take time for me to get to where, I, where I'm really meant to be in my life. But when that time come, bro, I wanna be farther than what I am now. You feel me? Way farther. I wanna be in a whole new circle. I wanna be a whole new situation. I wanna, I wanna look different, feel different, think different, speak different. I'm gonna be in a new area. Right now I live in Illinois. I wanna I'm I wanna move. I ain't gonna tell y'all why I'm gonna move, but I wanna move to where I, where I plan on moving to, but I wanna be I wanna be elevated in life. You feel me? That's where I wanna be when I when I get to that town in my life, you feel me? And a lot of that start with doing the work. Cause bro, your life not gonna change. Bro. Your life not gonna change unless you make some shape, literally, bro. Like, and I see that now for myself, bro. You feel me? You know, like, bro. If you literally don't do anything, your life is gonna be the same, bro. Literally, you have you have to make something shape, and that's it. That's all. There's nothing else to talk about. You feel me? So you gotta be all that being lazy shit, all that, all that saying, oh, it's gonna come, it's gonna come. Manifest, definitely manifest. But bro, people got the wrong people got the wrong idea of manifestation. They think when you manifest, it's just gonna come to you. You're just gonna sit back, no, bro. When you manifest, bro, you speaking it out there, bro, you feel me, no? But now since you manifested, bro, you have to do the work, but 
that manifestation is going to attract opportunities to towards you. You feel me? And it's all up to you to recognize those opportunities for and take the bitches head on. You feel me? And really utilize those opportunities. Bro, you feel me? You can't just manifest every fucking day and just sit in your room and not do shit. Nothing's going to happen. You feel me? You have to get up and work, bro. That's the only way shit gonna move. You feel me? All that shortcut shit not gonna do nothing, bro. You feel me? No, all that shortcut shit, bro. Like, bro, it's not gonna get you nowhere, bro. You feel me? You know? And really recognize who y'all is, bro. You feel me? A lot of me, and, we been we we been talking about this money shit for like a few days now, bro. For, like, my thing is, bro. Everybody, everybody's <coughs> relationship with money, bro. It's like, bro, that's just all it is, bro. Oh, I gotta wake up and chase the bag. I gotta wake up and get rich, bro. I gotta wake up and do this. Gotta wake up and do that, bro. You feel me? You know, like me personally, bro, that's not my motto, bro. Yeah, I want money, bro. Yeah, I wanna be wealthy for my family, shit like that, but, bro, I don't give a fuck about being rich, bro. I don't care about having a million dollars, bro. I don't care about having a billion dollars, bro. Anything like that. I don't care about having the nicest, fanciest cars, bro. Or, um, a big ass mansion, bro. You feel me? You know, like, I mean, when it gets to that point, yeah, I'm gonna treat myself like, bro, that's not my main priority, bro. My main priority, bro, I wanna find myself, bro. I want to know who I truly am, bro. I want to know what happiness really is, bro. And what love truly is, bro. You feel me? And when I get, I want to, I want to, I want to get to that point, bro. If I'm going to get to a point of life, bro, when everything goes wrong, I still find happiness within myself, bro. You feel me? A lot of people, a lot of y'all right now in this world, bro, you feel me? Whatever it is, I'm like, even if it's not just money, it can be anything, bro. You feel me? In addiction, weed, fucking money, um, fucking, um, Buying, buying clothes, food, whatever the case may be, bro. You feel me? If you was to not, if all that shit was to leave your life, bro, man, bro, you will fucking lose. You fuck around, and kill yourself, bro. Literally, for real, because you don't know who you are, bro. You, feel me? you don't know what true happiness is, bro. You feel me? The, the materialistic shit is what's making you happy, bro. You feel me? No, that's not true happiness. That shit can go away in a blink of an eye. Then what you gonna do after that? You feel me? That's just my whole thought process and process on this shit, bro. For real, um, bro, and uh. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I'm still working on it, but like, my heart and my like, my intentions, like I told y'all before, but like, my intentions with YouTube has totally changed. You feel me? Like, I mean, I still have moments where like, I be like stressing over like having money and shit like that, bro. You feel me? <clears throat> but I'm definitely getting like way better at like realizing like I need to like that's just just gonna come, bro. You feel me? Like, that's just gonna come with divine time and literally like. It's, you can't rush, you can't rush that, bro. And like you said, like with manifestation, it's, it's just like with God, you feel me, bro? Like you have to meet him halfway. Like, <clears throat> like yeah, God can say, he, he can definitely say yes to, to your prayer or whatever you're asking for, but you gotta meet him halfway though, you feel me? Like, uh, uh, I forgot what that saying is. Um, a dream without works is dead or something like that. Faith without works. Oh yeah, faith without works is dead, yeah, <clears throat> bro, so. Y'all can have all the faith in the world, bro, you feel me? But, like, you got to put the work in, bro. Like, like right now, we're making two videos right now. <laughs> you feel me? Like, making two videos right now and shit like that, man. And, shit, I'm having fun with it. You feel me? I'm not getting paid for it, but I'm, I'm having fun, shoot. Plus, the way to get out the house and shit like that, man. Oh, bro, like. And then, like you said, too, like, we're moving out and shit like that. Like, like, uh, like going to, like, living in a different state. Get out y'all comfort zone, bro. Literally, like, y'all just here or whatever y'all, wherever y'all at, bro. Maybe y'all already grew up in a big ass city. You feel me? <coughs> like, lots like, like LA or like Atlanta or Houston or Sacramento. So like, like big cities, Las Vegas, like big cities like that, bro. Unless you already grew up there, you should, you probably tired of that shit too. You might, you might probably want to come to Chicago. I don't suggest it, but. <laughs> <laughs> No. Well, you could come to Chicago, but you feel me? I would say Illinois. I, come to Illinois. Yeah. I would say come to Illinois. Because, I mean, Chicago is like the highlight of Illinois. Yeah. But, like, <clears throat> there is way more to Illinois than just, uh, than just Chicago, bro. Bro, man, shit, man, that's the end of the video, though, bro. Yeah, man, I hope y'all hope like it. hope y'all, you know, like, comment, subscribe, bro. You feel me? No, um, like I said, bro, take everything that we say in this video into context, bro. You feel me? Apply whatever, whatever we say, apply it to your own life. You feel me? Apply it to your own life, bro. Oh, bro, that shit, man. I'm gonna catch y'all. Finna get back to work. Bro, man. <clears throat> man, um, 10 to 20 likes on this video, bro. Bro, 10 to 20 likes, man. 10 to 20 likes, man. But we out, y'all. Yeah, I got what grain in my dummy up. Uh.
Cool quarter million, my go yard though. Yeah. I went against her, you still got a shuffle. 